Hey there, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to come on and do some eyeshadow with you today. So I've already done my base. So yeah, so the last thing I need to do is just do my eyeshadow. So today I'm gonna use uh, the Morphe Melon Pop, it's called. This is just a little palette that they have. It's got some cute colors in here. So I'm gonna use the browns. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go over the whole lid. this little brush here and I'm going to dab it into the dark brown colour. Blue juiced it says, this one here. And I'm just going to be pressing that into the corner there. Okay, just building up. just pressing it in So it's important to remember when you do your eyeshadow, you don't use the same brush for everything. And um, there are different brushes and different brush sizes, different brush shapes, and they all do something different. And it's really just trial and error when you start using them. Um, if, you, if you don't know what you're doing. So this one gives a more concentrated um, distribution to the powder. So you've got that small brush that can really pack in the colour. It's also really good for blending out the edges too when you don't want the eyeshadow to go so far. You don't want to spread it around so far if that makes sense. So we just got to check that we get that kind of even. on both sides. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush off the excess on that brush now. So still using the same brush. I'm just gonna go over this line here and just blend that out. So you'll see the line starts to soften. So you're just going over the edge of that. You can see it sort of diffusing now. see how much softer that looks compared to this one here. So yeah, so you just gotta keep working it through, blending it out. Okay, and then we'll do the same on the other side. Keep 
lash here. So we're gonna dab that in the dark color again. We're gonna go under the eye. gonna go in with a gold shimmer or pinky one actually let's use the pink one so I'm using this one here and we're just applying that to the corner where you've got that lighter gap there really easy way to apply an eyeliner without having to use an actual eyeliner so you just need a flat brush like this with a straight edge on it and then you just dip it in and you're literally just stamping across the lower lash line so yeah so it creates that illusion of having eyeliner but using an eyeshadow right the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use the coffee liner by morphe and i'm just going to use that on my waterline it's not black, it's a coffee colour, it's a dark, dark brown, but it does look pretty dark. So I'm using um, Courtney Lee Holland's brush. This is the COA15 one. eyes but you know it's all about the mask these days when you go out places so when you're wearing a mask all day you want to make sure um, you know the emphasis is on the eyes because really this is all everyone's seeing up here okay so that's done so then I'm going to take my mascara so today I'm going to use the great lash by Maybelline and this is in very black Start at the base of the lash when you apply mascara and just give it a little wiggle around. Just to do my lips 
lips now. So same thing again. I'm using the Morphe Foolish lip pencil. This is my go-to. It's my everyday. And especially when you've got dark kind of eyes, you don't want to have like full-on lipstick. So something nude, something kind of light and neutral works best. Because it pretty much goes with everything. I think when you find one that looks more like a natural lip colour, then yeah, it pretty much goes with everything. But I do like the little pink tone to it. Okay guys, so I'm just going to check everything again. Just make sure I'm happy with how all that is looking. Still getting used to doing this with this setup at the moment, it's a bit, a bit strange for me because I usually do this in the bathroom. So I'm usually standing right in front of a big mirror and I've got my phone in front of me, I've got these lights in my face, it's very, it's very odd, but um, I'm sure I will get there. But if you have any questions or you want to know anything, um, please ask or pop them in the comments below. And um, if there's any looks that you want me to do or anything that you're struggling with that you would like help with or anything, um, yeah, drop me a message and let me know. So last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this uh, Mad Mad Madison Beer uh, Lockdown Spray again. Now this is the glittery one because as I told you in the other video, I am running low. Um, well, I pretty much run out of the normal Morphe one that I use, um, so I'm just using this just now just to use it up. Didn't realise it was going to be quite so glittery when I bought it. I thought it was just going to be like a luminous glow type one, um, but the glitter particles are quite noticeable, but I don't care. I'm all here for the sparkles, so who cares? If you don't like sparkles, don't use it. So I'm just going to press that in. with my beauty blender, which as I've told you before, you need to make sure it is damp whenever you use a beauty blender. If you do not use it damp, it's going to pick up the product and then it's not going to go on your face. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure it distributes and blends into your skin and not lift the product off. Okay, that is it for now. Um, so yeah, so once again, that was using Morphe's Melon Pop palette. And um, I'll just quickly show you again the colors on there. So we used this one, um, this one, and then this one for the highlight in the inner corner. And then we used the black, excuse the palette, it's a little bit messy. Um, we used the black one with the flat brush to do a little bit of the eyeliner on there. We've used Morphe Coffee Gel Eyeliner. The Morphe Foolish lip pencil and um, to do the lips. And yeah, if there's any other questions, you can ask me. So yeah, so that's me done. I just need to do my hair and then we're heading.